Casey Neistat's David Dobrik documentary explores what happens when creators cross the line under the influence premieres this weekend at South by Southwest. I, I'm not in Texas, so I can't go. But to, you, you talked to Casey. Not about this. I actually, uh, I want to watch it, but it, it's, the problem is it's at the festival right now. And I guess they want to pick up distribution or sell it. And, uh, and so in the meantime, nobody's really, I don't know, I guess. Are I, you clamoring? I guess to... I could find a way. I guess I could ask to watch it, find a way to watch it. You can also, I believe you can sign up for South by Southwest digital access. And then you can watch all the films that like as if yeah. you were there, but you didn't have to go. But it's expensive. I think it's like 500 bucks. Maybe. Uh, okay. Whoa. Maybe I'll do that. I got to find the time to watch the thing. But anyway, um, yeah, he did this documentary on Dobrik and, and it, uh, I guess it started sort of as the climb was happening to towards popularity for uh, Dobrik, and then it took a spin and ended up in controversy partway through the filming. That seems very interesting to me. You know, I was just speaking earlier about the whole, like with Kanye and 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 Kim, and there's like those effects, the effects of all those cameras pointing, the effects of all those environments, the effects of uh, the. Uh, 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 attention, the effects of ma uh, massive or mega amounts of attention mm -hmm. on the uh, the human, on the individual, and and I feel like if if K if Casey did it and he was following around and and he's been working on this project, I think he's also got the insight as the maker of the film of these effects mm -hmm. because he did it, it happened to him too to a certain extent. So I like that combination seems really interesting to me. Mm. Um, so I just, I mean, I just need to watch it. I guess I'm promoting it here and people can't even go. Mm. Maybe it helps him sell it. I don't know where he's hoping for it to go. It's, uh, th does like Netflix buy this thing? Is that what happens? Maybe. Is that the goal? I would assume Netflix mm. or HBO. You need a distributor. Or somebody sure. buys right, it. Yeah. And, uh, it's unfortunate you, the, the economics don't work to just put it on YouTube. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but I don't think the economics work here mm -hmm. because of the the ad model is just different. The way the rev right. share works, you would need to do you know whatever it's a many lot of work, millions of views yeah. to make it. And really, this is a little bit more niche. And this, eh, I don't know about niche, but it's a little bit more niche because like Shane Dawson was doing huge numbers on this type of thing. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. At but one point, could it be like a original, like YouTube original? They don't do that anymore. They retired that. Oh, what really? When? Well, you got to cut to Mo's camera. I'm out. I know. Like, I was his, too his, slow his, on that one. His, rea <laughs> his react was amazing there. Uh, I don't know. They made an announcement recently that that's uh, not their, they're not really? investing in it. I, I think. Because I, mean, I feel gonna like Marquez's original, YouTube originals was what, like maybe a few months ago, two, three months ago? Oh, this is re relatively recent development. They, I mean, they have to still execute deals that they had in place prior. Okay. Uh, okay. But I don't think they're doing any, any new ones. Hmm. I wonder why.